All right, so what an insane game this is going to be. The game of the year. Um, yeah. Surprisingly, some of the offensive stats don't favor Georgia, but they're in the top ten in some of those categories that would shock people. Like total offense, passing offense, rushing offense, not so good. I think it's like 22nd. And Tennessee's like first in almost every category. Even some of the runner stats, too, because po- contrary to popular belief, Tennessee's offense is 60-40 with 60% being the run, and they set up their pass. Their offense is very fast. But when they do pass, they make it count with, like, 40- and 50-yard bombs. As you can see from some of the stats here, 49 points per game for Tennessee. They allow 21, Georgia has 41, and they give up 10 per game. But, yeah, um, score prediction, just go ahead and try to say that. I got it being 36 to 30 favoring Georgia. So I do think that Tennessee will still score 30, but I think Georgia win by six, having that 36 to 30. Uh, something that worries me is if you're not a Georgia fan like you're a Tennessee fan or just like not a fan of Georgia it would be good news for you is that Georgia is really bad and the turnover margin in Tennessee is very good at it they're actually in the top 15 for that so yeah um being that Georgia's defense has not been getting many takeaways or sacks like the last four or five weeks and Stetson's been throwing some interceptions so, yeah, that's always a big thing that's brought up in these games, especially against two powerhouse teams like these two are. Uh, that definitely come into play. Now, 36 to 30, you might be asking why I predicted that score. I mean, that's just my prediction for if Georgia wins. No, that's going to be my main one I'm going to put on here. But if Tennessee wins... I could see it maybe being like 45 to 33, but I'm going to go because I'm a Georgia fan. I'm going to say 36 to 30 dogs. And, uh, yeah, man, hopefully they don't turn the ball over. That's a big thing for both teams. Don't turn the ball over. I want to see a clean game on maybe a turnover or two could spice it up. But, yeah, I'd rather see a clean game. And, uh. Yeah, big point is just Tennessee's defense is better than people give it credit for, but in total defense, giving up, I think that's the stat. Um, they're like 88th when, like, yards given up, but in the points, they're very respectable. They're like 26. Their rushing defense is ninth. So that's a very, very good. That worries me as a Georgia fan as well. You know, if Stetson can't run the ball and they're playing from behind, I'm pretty sure Tennessee's going to win the game. Um, But, you know, if Kirby and Stetson can keep his jitters in check, you know, Kirby can kind of check him at the door and let his ego go. Because I don't know, you know, some Georgia fans think Stetson's the best thing in the world, but he definitely has his flaws. But I'm not here to rag the guy, so... Um, he won a national championship, and he's been doing pretty good this year, especially at the start of the season. But this is in the later half of the season. So, uh, yeah, going back to my score prediction, 36-30 to 30, Georgia. I think they'll get it done by, you know, Tennessee's going to get big plays because they're the best offense in the nation. It's not even close. Led by Hendon Hooker and that dynamic offense under Josh Heupel. You know, if Tennessee gets, like, three or four big pass plays, Georgia can win. But, you know, if they get more than that and, you know, make them even quicker than the usual one to two minutes, it will be a bad day if you're a Georgia fan or a Tennessee hater, you know. So, um, yeah, that's the big thing for them is just keep it in check. And Georgia's big – one of their big keys to the game is you're going to have to get the running game going and you cannot abandon it. Stetson cannot throw the ball more than 30 times either. You know, I have a lot of faith in him as a passer, but there was that stat that was always going around. Also, 
when Kirby gives up. I think it's more than 30. That's why I had Tennessee scoring 30, because that would be under the impression that Georgia would win. Tennessee scores under 30. I think Kirby's like or over 30 when somebody scores that on Georgia and Kirby. I think Kirby's like 1-9. and nine. His only win would be in the Rose Bowl against Oklahoma. But, yeah, I don't want to ramble on too long. Again, final score prediction, 36-30. to 30. I think Georgia's main keys is to limit the big plays, only allow like three, get the run game going, keep Stetson calm and in the rhythm. Don't let him throw more than one interception. Ideally, he doesn't throw one, but, you know, you can't be perfect, so he's probably going to throw one. Limit the turnovers. Georgia's been really good about limiting the penalties as well. Maybe get Tennessee to jump off sides, kind of mess them up. And, yeah, man, just stick to the game plan and get it done. But that's about all I got to say about this game. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Focus! Elite focus! Strike it and strain it! Strike it and strain it! I got gratitude for the fact you got here. Think about where you came from. Think about what you've done to get here. Think about the work you've done to get this opportunity. There ain't no doubt in my mind this team is ready. You hit, you hit, you hit. From start to finish, set the tone from the jump. Let's go! We home! Let's go! They test our heart, we test theirs. They test our will, we test theirs. And we do it for 60 minutes or however long it takes. At the end of the game, the message is this. 